what's going on my brothers um this video we got a lot of these videos so doesn't really uh not that educational but i did something a little bit different just for grins always trying new stuff so i'm always advocating an extension on the carb, carb butterfly arm you know that's the servo uh, the throttle arm that goes to the car butterfly and you know i still have my standard complaint you know, uh, that I think's just kind of a joke. These manufacturers, they use these OEM um, carburetors. So they don't have them, they don't have them made for them at all. And they don't have them, except for, you know, DLE makes their own. But they get the, all these people to get the Walbro and, and the Tillotson when they get those. Um, they don't have them make them for them. You know, none of these engine manufacturers. And so they're just a couple of mods, or they could just do it themselves. I think, you know, that's the big thing, you know, they're probably going to be too expensive for them to have Walbro do it, but um, just do it yourself. So these choke arms always come in a way that, you know, we all, we all, you know, pull them straight down for, you know, the most part. I mean, there's other applications and there's, there's sometimes, sometimes when you'll put a choke servo, choke servo on, which I think is super cool, but, you know, I don't always want to do it and sector weight and everything, um, and extra trouble. Uh, but most everybody just has a push rod on them and they open and close them through the push rod. But the, um, uh, linkage, the, the arm that comes out is real short, but that's not so much of a problem, but it's at an angle where it doesn't work, uh, for pulling up and down, you know, it's, it's kind of a binding weird side angle. You, you know, you want it basically perpendicular. So you, you want this below, here's perpendicular, here's where we normally pull up and down, you know, um, here, here would be perpendicular, and then you want this range to be like a few degrees each side, like what's called at 25 degrees each side of that perpendicular point. So, you know, I always have to take and cut the uh, stock arm off and put an aftermarket arm, and it's not that hard, but you know, you're paying big money for these weed whacker motors, and I just think it's a joke, you know. I mean, it it was a joke 22 years ago, but now, you know, after all this time, yeah, it's just, that's just basic, <laughs> you know. Come on, man. Come on, engine manufacturers, get with the program. And then these are for weed whackers, too. They have the pull tension on them. They don't, they don't never change it. They tell you, oh, cut this, relieve the spring, but they don't do any of that for you, which they should. And, you know, it's got a screw stop and all that stuff. That's that's all for chainsaws, you know, and a pull wire. And uh, they, they should take all that off. And they should extend these, you know. They, all they have to, you know, really, they should just make a, a new one weld on or whatever. And then they, they just slide the butterfly out. and um, Or take the butterfly off, slide the shaft out. Put their new arm on, slide it back, put the butterfly back, you know. And cut the spring for you. That's just freaking basic. I mean, it's, it's just... You know, you know why, you know, and then there's some critics of me through the years, you know, why you criticizing manufacturers and criticizing this and that. That's why we don't have this stuff because <laughs> you, because of the, the guys that criticize me, if we all were complaining about this, if everyone criticized this, it's like the, I always blame everything bad happened in the seventies anyway. And what happened bad was in the fifties and sixties when I grew up, even if like a little skinny nerdy man would tell some jock kids to quit kicking the trash cans and they're all like 10 of kids and they're all twice as big as this little nerdy man they'd go yes sir and they'd move it something bad happened in the 70s in like a million different things we could go down this whole this whole road another time but where like the first kid like went screw you dad i said f you dad and then that little johnny like his parents sat there and went oh hmm, i can't do anything and that was it they should have went to bat and we wouldn't have these problems now. But when Johnny let the other kids know, my parents didn't do anything, then none of them did anything. And that is what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> this is all about Johnny in the 70s telling his parents to go screw themselves. <laughs> Getting away with it and ruining society. So, <laughs> this we all need to get together and go, we're, we're just not accepting this stuff, you know. If you can't get the manufacturer to, to do it for you, in this case, Walbro, and I don't think they could, get the aftermarket parts, set these up 90, and don't Loctite it. You know, it's a set screw right there. So don't Loctite it. And then, you know, we can, if, if it's going to be a, 
a servo, throttle, or a choke servo, whatever, we could just spin it and lock that it off. Do this. Have that. Come on, man. You're charging two grand for motors and stuff. It's a joke. And then extend these so that we can get some resolution. Come on, man. And fix this spring and take the set screw out for the stop. You know, take the stop screw out. Come on. You know, that's that's just ridiculous that they're making us do that stuff. It's totally stupid. Why don't we grind down our own heads and make our own pistons? Like, come on, man. So, you know, I've always had to beef about that. And uh, I typically always extend this arm because it's so short between pivot points. And so it's very hard to get any resolution. And I've said this over and over and over, but I go down the flying field and help the boys all the time. So you grab the radio, look at their endpoints. 3070 is the most common thing I've seen 70 or uh, 22 years ago all the way till now. 30 in one direction, 70 in the other, um, where you want, you know, at least 100, 100, 100 110, 110. And then if you, you know, if you really work at it, you can get 125, 125 or 130, 130. I've even got 135, 135. But, you know, then you have a little resolution. It's just not like an on-off switch. But I decided to see what I could do using the stock arm, which is super short. So I knew I'd have to go super short on the servo arm. So that's um, a one inch or three quarter inch high tech servo arm. Might be one inch. But I went down and drilled the lowest possible hole all the way at the bottom to make it super short. And um, then I am able to get, and that's my full range, leaving, um, leaving uh, idle. So from an idle open position, um, that's my full range. And, you know, I got 101, 101. It's okay. You know, I'm going to give it a go. Um, usually, I, I've, I think I've always said my minimum is 110, 110. But, you know, that's some resolution. It's nothing like 3070. That's twice the resolution of 3070. And see, I'm rolling with it now. To get that, you know, you um, to me, you know, that I've put the servos perpendicular to this and like one of these holes and bolt it down that way. And... That's much more difficult if to use that little arm like that and try to get minimum 100, 100 resolution. Um, you really need to flip your servo 90. And I know the Skywings come with a plywood glue up bracket for that. I can't remember if the Extreme Flights do or not, but it's easy to get. I like to get the ones from um, Spot On. And I thought I had a pile of them, but you know, when you build like 18 planes, you're going to run out. Um, so I ordered a bunch more, but they weren't here. So I found one of these old ones I had in bags from back in the day. This is from another company. And um, so I set that up, you know, but I had the wood one that came with the, with the plane too. But either way, get your 90 and then make sure you have clearances, you know, through conicals or the um, extended um, ball links, you know, that give you clearances and then you want to make sure you got the clearances here too on this nut. So I like to use the the pan heads, the three millimeter China pan heads. Um, but make sure you got your clearances. Nothing's binding because you know um, you're gonna have all that travel. And same thing over here. You got to make sure you're all clear and nothing hits anywhere. And then if you have all that, you can use the stock arm without extending it, and you know get 101, 101 anyway. Um, which is okay. So I just wanted to just see like what would happen, but yeah, I won't do this again. Like next time I'll extend the arm. Like I always do. It's not that hard. And, uh, you know, I do it in a variety of ways. I'll just use a, um, these heavy duty high tech, um, servo arms. Um, I'll just cut, you know, a piece off and then I'll just bolt that on and extend it or a weld you know, an arm on, um, or yeah, or several other ways too, but you know, just extend it. Um, but yeah, you can't get away with it. I mean, theoretically I could even make that servo arm shorter, but it's pretty darn short now. It's like half an inch. Yeah. It looks like about half an inch. And then sometimes you get into some weird, um, things with that, with the, where it ends up traveling, what it ends up hitting or not having leverage, but possible. But yeah, that's that. And then I always talk about this stuff, but 
here's one of the things I always do, and I mount this down, um, and I've got um, hook and loop and on each side, so hook, loop, hook. So this um, location, this can't move anywhere. So this fuel line can't move left or right, and then I kind of push it this way tight um, to the carb. So even if you took this cable tie off and tried to pry this, like it won't go very far, it's pushing this setup right here is pushing this on. So I never have to worry about that coming off. And, and as we like to say, that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so that's just one of the things I do. And as you can see, um, I got it bent. So your muffler's here and you don't want that line to come over flapping around or laying over and leaning on the muffler, burning through. And then you dead stick because you have no fuel to your car because you got a big hole in line that melted through. So that's like a twofold purpose. One, it's it's keeping this pressure so there's this you know there's n this is never going to pop off and then two is it's keeping away from the muffler for the heat and then i like to do i always like to do a long slot so let's see that's a long slot it's not a round one uh you can see that round one there um to where the line as it goes through um doesn't have to do a you know z 90 degree snake it's kind of gradual as it goes through that's like a standard thing that I do, and then that um, black uh, clamp, which is really cool. It just pokes into there. It's double-sided tape clamped down and then pokes in. Um, that's not necessary, but uh, that's for Nico. <laughs> Nikos, <laughs> Nikos uh, found those for me and um, showed those, or found them for himself and, sh and displayed those. Now, ever since I got them, like them, and I got the clear ones, and now these are the black ones. He says he gets them at the local supermarket. Um, I got them off Amazon. They were like six bucks. So n easy as pie. And that's just for Nikos. And then, um, then what we got going here, I pre put the Velcro straps in for the ignition, which is going to mount on the other side. It's, there's pre cut holes for the ignition. This was their intention to put the ignition there. And, um, so I'm all set when I flip the plane over to mount the ignition to, uh, to that spot. Um, so that's all dialed and yeah, it's, um, pretty good to go, but kind of wanted to, you know, just show that I, I did not extend it and what kind of result that you would get and the results, you know, 101, 101, which is not, not terrible. Yeah. It's very, very acceptable. Um, but I'll go for, you know, 120, 120 next time. And, you know, to complain about this thing that I've kind of complained about with before, but it's, it's a joke. They should do all this work for us and sitting there for the for the two grand for your weed whacker motor. Yeah, you should. Yeah, that should be a given. <laughs> if we all complain, they will do it. If we all go, oh, I wanted to be an apologist for those guys, then it won't. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sticking to that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it. That's your nightly. Out.